Good day, my listeners. Hello, everyone. Greetings. This is Dibia Wangu Chendo. Anya una bale nu na nye kene kwem. Na anya ni dia se kene kwem. Ndi chie, chie o kwi chie nte kene kwem. Agwa pala ngoshi. E kene kwem. Eh? Ezume zuna ora mwa nye ne sombi owa. Kesi kune nkesi kune. Asi munu. Baratan. Yo lugo kwa mboya ija kuzin kuzin. Wena ase nanti na ege munti. Kwa mwa tefe. Eh, ne kene mwa nye. Zume zu mwa nye nana ni mbo. Se hade eme deje dalo. Wena ase kwa mwa nye. Ebo obo na hano na ege munti. Kanti ha mepe. Anyi me mwa ha mepe. Ka ha mwa tan kwa ma. Ka ha na chiyya ta azu. Nu zondi nan na yin. Ha debe la yin. Do zi la yin ma kwa zi la yin. Bu zondo ma kan odi na ni bu zondo. Eh, oma ka me bele han u bosi nke ta. Wena si yo. Ka ngo lo ko le. Neke. Ori. Afo. Mkwa. He say. Today's topic. We are going to talk about. Rain water. Rainwater and its spiritual and medicinal uses. Rainwater simply means mili ozuzo. Hmm? Mili sine ni igwe. When water falls in drops from the sky, it is called rain or rainwater. Water is life. Water is pure. Water is love. Water is peace. This is why in Hebrew language, you often hear people say, Miria de emuilo, or Miria emuilo. Who's on Miria de echiechi? Miria tana, maazu angona. These are adages that is uh, very, very familiar with any ordinary adherent. People who are water element can easily understand me. I'm not saying it's only people with water element. There are other elements. They are all interconnected. They are all interlinked, interwoven, uh, intertwined. So everybody needs water. As long as you are alive and you drink water. Ibun wan miri. Yes. Do you wash with water? Do you brush your teeth with water? Do you cook with water? You did your baptism? <laughs> See, water is necessary and water is life. Miri bundo. So anybody that will tell you that uh, water is useless, that means the person is a goner. Water is very, very necessary, very vital, important to man's existence. Either way you use water, you are one miri. You are water element. No matter how you, you survive, you must drink water. That is what I want to point out. Though water is formed from different uh, elements, namely air, earth, and water. If you are observant, there is a kind of breeze or air that will blow. You will feel the drop of water. You know about condensation and the rest of it, the way it happens. Also, the earth has water beneath it. So, rainfall is very vital as when it rains down from the skies to earth. It fills up our rivers, lakes, oceans, pond and even provide drinks for our plants and animals. That is why today we have so many rivers, Oshimiri. When you hear of Oshimiri Atata, the river that never runs dry. Whatever we are doing in Odnani Ibu spirituality, water is also essential for those people who are 
uh, uh, marine uh, children. You don't run away from your source, like I will always say. All you have to do is to appease and align with your source. So you see how rivers are formed. When rain drops from the skies to earth, it fills up our rivers, lakes, oceans, and equally provide drinks for our plants and animals. So as humans, we cannot survive without rain. Many people will die for lack of oxygen to breathe. Plants will not blossom or survive. A lot of havoc will be wrecked on humanity. Ekenediri Chukuokike. Our supplier who knows what we need to survive and function effectively in life. We are in a rainy season now in my country, Nigeria. Anambra State, Oka. So we experience a lot of uh, rainfall. It is very good because it calms the atmosphere. Then crops and plants uh, are expected to be in abundance, vegetables, fruits. But because of uh, <laughs> the galloping inflation, you need money to buy those things. It's not as if it is uh, not in supply, but it is expensive to purchase. Nevertheless, we need rain. Rain comes the atmosphere. Humans now feel very comfortable, cool-headed, and peaceful. This is why Dibya Wangu, I, that I'm talking to you, I love the rain so much. Whenever it rains, I run outside as, as, <laughs> as elderly or as big as I am. I soak myself, run around. Whenever it's raining, you know, naturally, I love rain. Even as one million bore. I love rain. Whether you are earth elements, fire elements, uh, <laughs> whatever element you are at, you have to be in good terms with water. In whatever form it is, because you can't survive without it. Water is life. So whenever I run under the rain, I do some spiritual activities. That is why I'm teaching you this today for you to know it. There are some things that you need to solve by yourself. You don't need a Dibia to intervene for you, especially when you know your source. I've thought about uh, the different kinds of elements in my other teachings. So I hope that uh, you go to Dibia Wangu Chendo on YouTube and listen more to my teachings, so that you understand that so many people that are condemning elements, they say it has nothing to do with ordinary Nibu. <laughs> I laugh. You know, when you are educated and grounded, you can be able to carry out research and prove beyond reasonable doubt on certain assertions or certain assumptions that people are making that has to do with uh, ignorance. You debunk whatever it is they are wallowing in. So I've carried out my research and I've come to understand and know that these elements are in tandem with our Eke Ori Afo Mwa. But let me not digress. What am I saying? When it is raining, I run out. While I'm under the rain, I say my intentions under the rain. As mbori in one milli. As the rain is cascading down on my skin, I close my eyes. Then I, I now align. I cast off all fears, all worries. I relax under the rain. In my innermost heart, I am making my declaration, stating my intention making affirmation 
in whatever terms you can understand. That is why I'm using so many uh, vocabulary to pass across my message. So the one you can relate to, the one that is easier for you to understand, yes, you connect and know that this is what Dibya Wangu is trying to explain. Because the rain has touched me, the core, my core, my essence, I am now calm and I have rebalanced and revitalized myself, recharged my energy under this rain. You know, this art is very spiritual, very powerful. And it evokes a, a, a positivity in my life. I became I become one under the rain. I recharge myself. If I want to bam, you see the universe grant me access, grant my request. I doubt of negative energies during this moment. This is an ancient practice from time to time by our good ancestors. You know why growing up, if you take cognizance of what is happening around you, you will learn a lot of things subconsciously. Most times our learning doesn't have to be direct. You have to learn by observation. Yes. An astute person learns by observation. It's not all the while it's talk, 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 do this, do that. Come and see how these things are done, this, that. No. You simply keep quiet. You can be afar from a distance. You observe what is happening and what is being done. I saw most of my elders while I was growing up do this, but I never understood what was happening. I felt, oh, they were being beaten by rain. They couldn't run fast to <laughs> run inside the house. Not knowing is a spiritual practice. is an ancient uh, practice from our ancestors. Minimalugo asagu garu. This adage comes into my mind. So that's the feeling I get when this rain cascades and falls down on my body. I enjoy it for uh, more than 20 or 30 minutes. You know, you have to be cautious too so that uh, you don't catch cold while you are doing this. The scent of rain gives me deep joy. And any rainy day, is gratefully accepted by me as long as I am home. After dancing in the rain, I climb into my bed to read or write. Because after this practice, I get hit by inspiration. I want to write things down. I start getting ideas. I start connecting spiritually. Even in the process of writing, I might start receiving messages about people. What do I do? I have to come myself and coordinate. I write down, write down, write the person's name down. I write down the message that later afterwards I, ha I have to communicate and relay the message to the people. Most times before I get inspiration to write is when I do this, when I stand or dance under the rain or meditate under the rain. That is how it is for me. I don't know about you, my listener. But I suggest you practice it one of these days. That is where I, I didn't say under a storm. Don't practice this under a storm because weather differs according to geographical location. I'm talking about what is obtainable in my own part of the country, Nigeria, Anambra State in the east. We don't experience flooding there. So don't practice this under the flood, please. So you don't get washed away or carried away by a flood. So I climb my bed to read 
or write as it inspires me with its natural and romantic soundtrack. You know, when you listen to the uh, sound of the rain beating on the uh, window or falling on the window pane, it can lull you to sleep. It can give you uh, a relaxed mind, spirit, soul, and body. You sleep like a baby. You dream well. You become stable, balanced. If you have been uh, under stress, you now distress. As a lover of rain, you can call me a pluvophile. Because rain brings goodness, good luck, peace, love, favor, good friends. Especially when one is at peace with their marine family and other people. There is nothing like lack in your life as long as you always remember your people. It's not always that you go to the river if you are one Mary. Whether one or one. I have just mentioned the four elements. Now, in Alpha language, we refer to them as India Tobi. So, whenever I remember my India Tobi, I become very happy, very honored. This is because I have aligned with them and I have appeased them. I'm in peace and uh, in tandem with them. That is why I feel so happy. When, when it rains. Because once I stand under that rain and it touches my body. Without mincing words. Check out how that week will be. For me, I'm t- saying personally. My week, I will experience goodness, good luck, peace, love, favor, good friends. You know, prosperity. Clarity. I will get inspiration. I will get inspired. I really want you to know that uh, rain is spiritual. That is why our topic is titled Rainwater is spiritual and medicinal uses. Gradually, you will learn from me the positive aspect of spirituality. Even though that I'm a DBA, I have to tell you this. Spirituality of rain talks about rain being sacred. Rain is sacred because of the way we receive it as humans. Even though biologically, (laughs) they can give you... uh, their own definition and how rain ascends up in the sky and descends uh, water ascends and descends as rain that apart rain is sacred rain has a divine nature it is divinity itself rain is abundance rain heals rain protects This is because of his spiritual nature. If you observe closely, most Dibias that do Orum Mili, you understand where I'm coming from. Especially when you align with your uh, marine family. When you do your Orum Mili, you will experience all this. Disregard the way people... um, demonize uh, rain or water in whatever form it comes or ocean. They will say, eh, hey, I'm not saying I'm one million, I'm one million, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, not knowing that you have to align with your source. It has been the basis of my teaching, align with your source. Know your element in accordance with uh, using the Igbo calendar. Not the foreign calendar, please. Not the English calendar. You use your Igbo calendar. 
So to this, if you don't know about your element or your Igbo market day, your Igbo market day is your element, go to Google Play Store, download an app called Oguafo. It's an Igbo calendar app. Once you download it, you can now check using your date of birth, your month, and your year of birth. You know where you fall, your category. Whether ni ibo mwa eke mwabu mwore mwore mwabu mwa afo mwabu mwa mpo daso mpo ikuku mwa ikuku. It will help you. And once you know your category where you fall on, you align with your source. Ibo lo mwa eke align every eke days. You keep it holy. Eke means fire. That's the English equivalent. You have to align with your source. And know its function. Know how to harness your potential. So that life for you here on earth will be easy. You know the little things to do to be in favor with the universe. Or if you more can me. So I have aligned with mine. That is why I am Mbore. That is why I understand the spirituality of rain. When I talk that, uh, I say that rain is sacred, is divine, uh, rain is abundance, rain heals, rain protects. I know what I'm saying. I have experienced it. For some of us who have done your Ibu Mili, you will understand me perfectly. You have this inner peace once you have aligned with your marine family. Many people portray people who are from uh, uh, water as evil, as devilish, as being possessed. No. I am here today to refute all those allegations. Know your source and know peace. Know your source and know your, uh, and have a progress in life. The spirituality of rain continues. Rain cleanses and purifies. You see? That action I take, what is happening then? The rain is cleansing me spiritually and physically and it is purifying me. It is healing me if I'm suffering from stress. When I state my affirmations, when I make my intentions under the rain, it is an act of sacredness. I am connecting with the divine. Why seeking for abundance? If there is anything I'm passing through, the rain washes it away, takes it away from me, and cleanses and purifies me, gives me life. I'll have rebirth because I'm under the rain. Rain sanctifies and removes negative energies. Because number one me. I have harnessed rain and I'm using it to do a lot of things. That act alone is uplifting. It is divine. It is holy. While it is removing those negative energies from my body, it is also removing it spiritually too. I am also aligning with my source. Even though I didn't go to the river. I didn't go to my uh, river of incarnation. Rain gives inspiration. Like I told you, after doing this exercise, spiritual exercise, I go in, I go indoors, then I change my clothes. I don't even clean off my body. I don't. I allow my body to air dry. I can read a book then or I can sit down and play music or I just climb my bed. I might doze off. Then the inspiration comes. Either through dream or I'll be woken up. Normally, I keep a pen and paper beside me. Then I start writing. Whatever that was shown to me, whatever that comes to me, it might come in form of a voice. It might come in form of uh, inspiration for, uh, through dream. It might come as a thought. That is why you need to know that there are various ways to receive messages 
to receive spiritual guidance. And when you meditate, you connect and receive those messages. You are able to decode them. You are able to understand and also explain and pass your message across. As rain gives me inspiration, rain also blesses and prospers me. I'm using myself as an example, as a case study, because this is what I have done several times. This is what I have practiced. And that is why I'm teaching it today, giving out this free knowledge for whoever that is spiritually inclined to tap into it. You don't have to run indoors whenever it's raining and you'll be thinking, oh, my hair, my Rivon, my makeup. Even though I don't uh, uh, apply makeup all the time, sometimes I don't care about my hair. I even allow the rain to uh, rain on my hair. Yes, it calms you, cools your nerves, calms your brain. But you know, uh, we men, we are so, <laughs> how will I put it? I in a mengala so much that we wouldn't even allow the rain to touch us, uh, touch our head because of uh, our hair, because of uh, uh, the braid we are carrying or the expensive revolve we are putting on. So you see them reaching out and using shower cap to cover it. The rain can beat other parts of the body. <laughs> Very funny. The dough, if you are always on corn rolls, yes, of course, the rain will touch your hair. And afterwards, it will dry up. But then, when it falls on you, when it rains on you, it blesses and prospers you. When you connect. And when you are cleansed spiritually. Because for you to be able to do your olumili or ibumili, you must have cleansed yourself spiritually. For these ladies that uh, commit uh, abortion, you must have done uh, a deep spiritual cleansing known as uh, ibuchionunu. Because most times, you might do this, it won't work for you. So you have to uh, think, have you cleansed yourself? The deep cleansing, if you are guilty of uh, abortion, removing a, a, a wanted a pregnancy, that's what they call it, or removing a fetus. You really have to do your deep cleansing before you go to your water family, before you do your olumili or ibumili, as so many people will use the terms. So that your water family will even uh, welcome you and acknowledge you so they can be able to forgive you and you rely with them. You don't just go and do Ibumili, please. I want to correct this misconception today because people in such category, they might want to do this water therapy uh, that I've uh, explained today, that's Ibuoko Komili, they might want to do that. And they will want to experience this thing I am saying that I've experienced. They might not experience it. They might not be granted access to connect. Because one way or the other, they have uh, offended their water family in the process of committing abortion. So you don't know whether the unwanted pregnancy you remove. Uh, but one milli, the person that is reincarnating back coming from water and you terminated the existence. So you have to do some uh, appeasement, restitution through that uh, I think I'll make a subsequent uh, uh, time to teach about this deep cleansing that I'm talking about. It's very, very important, very vital because it, it is a clog. If you don't do that, it can put a clog in the wheel of your progress. It can put a clock between you and your spiritual guide. You'll be wondering, eh, hey, onion kalolo, this spiritual work, under two months or under three months, look at success, success story, panda, blessing, he bought car, he did this, he did that. But for you, you did yours. It never worked out. 
So you have to go back and do another divination after to find out what really happened. Why you are not receiving results despite the spiritual work that uh, uh, you did. It might be you have deeply offended your spiritual guide through this act of committing abortion. Incest. Mother. A whole lot of them. So before you can connect with your essence, before you can connect with your source, make sure you have cleansed yourself, deep cleansing, not the one they will deceive you people to say that bring this leaf, bring that leaf, uh, put clove, put cinnamon, put this gum, bed, it's cleansing, abortion cleansing. No, I'm not talking about that. Okay, let me not digress so much. Let me still talk about the spirituality of rain. Rain uh, blesses and prospers. So due to the fact that I have appeased and aligned with my water family, yes, I have access to their blessings. They have access to me to prosper me in whatever I do. Because I also connect monthly or weekly. I do go to my water of incarnation to pay homage Yes, to say hello to my India Obwanje Ndiotu, my India Obwanje Nwane, my Dimiri, all of them, they are all host of my water uh, family. I call them Ezume Ezu Dimilim, Ndi Etobim, Ndi Jubwe Eje. And when I go there, I eulogize them, you know, and I drop my gift. Because that's my source. That's the potter. You connect with your potter. And harness your goodness. Rain also is a bondage breaker. When you use it for spiritual work. If you are a Dibia or a spiritualist. A lot of people who are spiritually inclined know this. You can use rain to break bondage. Rain has psychic powers. This one is very, very visible. Whenever I uh, engage in Okoko Miri, I get inspiration. My penile gland opens up more because it connects me with my source. Now, when I tell people that Yonjo Tuobanje, they are behind your powers, your revelation power your power of prophecy or whatever in ordinary Igbo, your power to uh, operate as a Dibia. They are your mirrors, your spiritual eyes. They are the ones that come to reveal all these things to you. So that is why when people say J-Boy gives them inspiration, J-Boy this, J-Boy that, I'll just laugh. So it's better you know your source and connect with your source. Know your element, which is your market day, in order to Igbo. Knowing your element is not mysticism, as some people will, uh, 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 will uh, deceive others. It is out of ignorance. That is what makes people to say that knowing your element is mysticism. Knowing your element is as natural as knowing your Igbo market day. They are the same. They are the same. It has to do with nature. Element has to do with nature. Anything elemental has to do with nature. And Chuku Okike endorsed it. It's natural. It's not important. Yes. So know this today and know peace. So that people will not... Uh, mislead you and teach you rubbish all in the name of uh, trying to make you to become scared of your source. People who succeed today are the ones that are spiritually inclined. Because I do tell most people that 90% of what you do here on earth is spiritual. 10% is just physical. Everything is signed, sealed, and delivered spiritually before it manifests physically. So when I 
conduct this act of uh, Ibu Oko Mary. I recharge myself spiritually. My psychic powers, they become very obvious. You start hearing your spiritual guy talk to you. When that rain cascades down and washes your feet, your eyes, your inner eyes will open, your pineal gland, everything. You become alert, highly sensitive. You vibrate more in a higher frequency. This is a secret that I'm letting out. For those of you who are water element, even air, earth, yes. In fact, every element, they need water. Water is life. To become balanced in spirituality, you don't have to dislike water. You have to work with every element as a dibia. For you to give out your best. So that ability, that inspiration I get is as a result of that psychic uh, uh, power released by rain. Because I connected and I aligned and I made declarations and affirmations. I talked to my marine family. I talked to the universe. I talked to Nemiri even though I didn't visit the river directly. And most times I get this rainwater direct from the sky. When you put out a white basin or blue, make sure it is not the one that fell on top of the roof. But direct from the sky, it will land inside the container you are using to fetch it. And you keep it, a very clean container, you keep it. You use it to wash your face, you wash your eyes. Most times you drink it first thing in the morning. Just take your rain water and drink. You see how calm you are. You see how cool and collected that you be. You see how spiritually powerful you start growing to become. Especially when you use it to watch your, uh, wash your eyes. So in that process that I'm doing that Okoko Miri, dancing under the rain, you see what is happening? Miri Marugo Sarugaru, it will wash off every impurity, wash off and cleanse me. Because rain is spiritual. I'm still talking about the spirituality of rain. First, I said rain is sacred. Second, rain is divine. The third, rain is abundance. The fourth, rain heals. Rain protects. Rain cleanses and purifies. Rain is life. Rain sanctifies and removes negative energies. Rain gives inspiration. Rain blesses and prospers. It is a bondage breaker. It has a psychic path. So if you understand these things, you will know that rain is life. You will understand me when I say, because without water, the fish will not survive. And there is life inside water. It is this rainfall that makes up a river, stream, ocean. Rain is divine. When it ascends down to earth, it's because of the divinity involved. And when it forms rivers, oceans, it's because of the divinity, the supernatural, the power behind rain. So that is why rain is spiritual. Whenever you use rain, the rainwater is either to bathe or to wash your eyes, wash your face. You receive goodness. The universe opens to bless you. You receive favor. 
Now, let's talk about spiritual uses of rain because rain is used for a lot of things. You can't do without rain. This reminds me of a famous uh, music by China Zadibo when she talks about water. Asking, why Christians? Why do you cast and bind? When you can't do without water, how can you deny that, uh, 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 <laughs> that water doesn't have power? You receive grace, you receive abundance from water. So you have to align with your water family. Align with your marine family. To function properly, to realize your full potentials, you don't cast and bind. What are you casting and binding your source for? Don't you know you are killing yourself? What you do is to align and appease your marine family. Even those that have an active spiritual spouse. If you align and appease them, how, why will it be disturbing you? And you should know there are a lot of things you stay away from if you are one million. Even according to your element, there are simple rules, simple information you should know so you can harness your potentials directly from your source. You know the things to run away from. You know the things that your, your source, your portal likes. You do those ones. So spiritual uses of rain. Firstly, it is used for cleansing divination tools. These divination tools that I mentioned, first your eyes. Huh? When you use rain to wash your eyes, your spiritual eyes will open your pineal gland. You use it to wash your face entirely, your head. It is a divination tool. For the spiritually inclined, for the Dibia. Because washing your face and eyes using rainwater, your head, it enhances your psychic ability. Divination tools like some of us use uh, shell, seashells, cowries for divination. You can soak it in a white container. You pour rainwater into it. Those seashells, you still connect. It purifies those divination tools. You can use the rainwater to wash your altar, to cleanse your altar. It will remove negative energy. Even you as a person, when you bathe rainwater directly, either from the sky or the one you, you stored, when you use it to bathe yourself, if you are a spiritualist, already you are cleansing yourself because you are a medium. Once you have the ability to uh, do uh, divination, you are a seer, you are a shaman, you are a medium, you are a clairvoyant. So if you bait that rainwater, it's cleansing. You are cleansing yourself because you are a tool. A kalamad or kalamwa. Secondly, rain is used for breaking spiritual bondage. There are certain spiritual work that uh, a, 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 a spiritualist or a dibia will want to do for you. It involves you using uh, rain water. You can either drink it after you must have done one or two declarations over it. It will destroy whatever it is that is in your body that is bringing uh, blockages in your life. Or the minor cleansing that you prepare rain water and use it for people. It is to break spiritual bondage, especially those people who are experiencing hatred. The failure at the age of breakthrough and a whole lot of uh, other things. When the first rain of the year is collected, it has ability to cure a variety of illnesses, for example, mental illness. The first rain of the year, once it is collected under clean and hygienic condition, once you give it to somebody who has mental problem, it calms the person down. Because of its psychic power, because rain is life, once it enters the body, the spirit, soul of this mentally uh, uh, challenged person, it comes and cools his spirit or her spirit down. It heals. That is when the healing process starts. 
ifu ala na apu na mbe ya. ziara. So this first rain of the year when it's collected, it also energizes one's spiritual life and health, especially when you bet it. He will the word, the first rain of the year. It comes with a lot of blessing, a lot of uh, 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 spirituality in it. If you understood uh, the first part where I talked about uh, uh, the spirituality of rain, yes, it is one of the uses of rain. Once you are able to get this water, a lot of things happens in your life. Rain water is used for purification, for purification purposes, either weekly or monthly, for any spiritual activity in your life. You can use the rain water in your shop to clean your shop, your homes, eh? the house, your new apartment, your business. You use rain water. To, to wash everywhere. It will become evergreen. It will uh, spell every negative uh, energy. Some even put it in container. Yes, for purification purpose. It's just like holy water that most people use. Most spiritualists prefer uh, using holy water to disperse every negative energy. Even in Catholic Church, most of this uh, Christian imported religion. Eh? They use rainwater a lot. Rainwater is used for herbal decoction. When you want to prepare some herbal remedies. They know what they are telling the person. is to activate it spiritually. All the source, yeah. If you get... That is why I always say, go and know your source and stop wallowing in ignorance. If you see somebody paying respect or homage, honoring the source, maybe like water, especially Ajay may feel familiar, you start shouting, oh, you're demonic, you're demonic. Then when you see somebody, mui kuku, always using incense or putting all kinds of feather around them in their homes, you start saying, yeah, on another society, on another society. Because you are wallowing in ignorance. You don't know what those art mean. If you see somebody always burning candle, maybe scented candles or uh, incense too, like mweke, fire element, you start screaming, oh, no, 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 it's occultic. My people, please wake up, oh. Wake up. Go and know your source. Know where you are from. Harness it. Know the do's and don'ts. Because once you know your source, you start practicing the art of being sacred, holiness. Because you can't know your source and you still continue to wallow in stupidity. You continue to do evil things. You continue to, to pollute yourself. When you are polluting yourself, you can't harness the potentials. You can't realize it. You cannot be blessed through your source or through the portal you came to this world. So you have to be careful. Rainwater is also used for spiritual ritual baths. It can be sprinkled on the body for self-protection. If you are always afraid, get rainwater in a white bottle. Add four white rocks, small white rocks, and say your intentions over it. Then drink first thing in the morning. This makes you to become bold and courageous spiritually and physically. You are still a newbie, a baby dibia, you are still upcoming, and your source, you are from water. So to prevent all this, this is a spiritual exercise, a little one. I said, get rainwater in a white bottle, add four little white rocks in it. Say your intention. Then every time you wake up, first thing in the morning, you drink that water. This will turn things around for you. You will see, you notice you become, you become bold and courageous. Physically, more spiritually. Rainwater is used to open up positive energies of spiritual guides. And our ancestors 
used it. Huh? In the bow. Because it clears one's aura and the air. Negative energies are removed and banished using rainwater. Rainwater is used for benediction of individuals, families, buildings. You see, most churches, they use water. They'll call it holy water or scented water. I don't know. Or they will, uh, the pastor will name the water after his, <laughs> after himself. Hmm? They know what they are doing. But that one is more acceptable by our people. Yes, because they say his pastor this. Oh, I'm buying his early morning water. Where did you know he sourced that water from? I told you that water has healing ability. Water has psychic ability. Water is spiritual. Water is sacred. Water is life. So any pastor or bishop or reverend that blesses water and gives to you for sanctification, for purification, for benediction knows what they are doing. Ike dinamili. Ike dinamili. So, sometimes they add herbs like uh, cinnamon, bay leaf, thyme, rosemary, basil, cloves, even spiritual perfume inside those waters. And that water can be rainwater gotten from uh, while it was raining. So, it can be direct water, their own river of incarnation. For example, if my own river of incarnation is Genemiri, uh, Genovia Imoka, I will go there and take water. After talking to my water family, I will collect the water because I will be using it for what? To work for spiritual purposes. I can give it to somebody who is experiencing bad sales and with the special ability and unction bestowed on me by my ancestors to function as a Dibia. I will say words over it. Until you form I'll give it to the person to use. He will now go to his business uh, area or his shop or whatever and sprinkle that water. Says that I have activated it by words of mouth and also my offer. It will work. That is power for you. Okay? So, I said right now that uh, rain is used for benediction of individuals. Benediction uh, talks about blessing. You know, not only blessing. Banishment banishes negative energy. So, if you look at the family, 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 stop being scared. That water came from a source. Either the person's river of incarnation or rainwater or sea water. There are kinds of waters. Used for spiritual purposes. There, are, there is one they call stagnant water. The stagnant water is the one that doesn't uh, move. It's, still, it's just there. There is rock water. A whole lot of it. The water is water. Water is life. Know this today. And stop wallowing in ignorance. So if you are water element. Mabuni one milli. You have to keep a bowl or glass of water around you. Yes, that is why most people who are called to serve humanity and mankind, deviants like myself, after aligning and appeasing with their water family, we bring our water home. We use that water to work, to do spiritual work. We keep that water to enhance our psychic ability. Yes, because keeping it in your home, you are connected with your water family. Because keeping that water is an ibunata mirige. Eh? It connects you to your powers. It connects you to your marine family. It is a point of contact for the spiritually inclined and uh, 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 the spiritually chosen vessel of honor. To function. Bringing our water home helps us to function properly. Our water family will be connected to us and will be connected to them. 
It is a source and also point of contact, of power, to do exploit in spirituality, to do our spiritual work, to continue to do our liberation, our healing, herbalism, for those the uh, uh, proficient when they prepare the cautions, they use it. They apply the water there too. When somebody complains of headache, you use water too to heal the person. There is also coconut water. I will talk about it another time. These are spiritual gifts, spiritual uh, uh, sources provided by nature. To heal, you use natural powers from the universe. So that is why you don't have to be afraid of any uh, Dibia native doctor for the good ones. I'm not saying that, there are, uh, uh, <laughs> that all the Dibias are perfect. There are native doctors who have the... Their agu have become corrupted. So you can't categorize them under good ones. There is good and there is bad in this life. It is all about balance and where you are inclined to. Are you inclined to do good or are you inclined to do bad? So this water is used positively. That is the essence of my today's teaching. You use it positively to save lives. Is on do. Makano zon mila de echi echi. Onyo obuna bo mwa miri. We always receive the grace from their water family to function. To do their uh, spiritual calling. So water promotes good dreams. Especially when carefully and hygienically collected. Then you drink it first thing in the morning. Or and also lasting at night. W water is a barrier breaker. I'm talking about rainwater. Rainwater is a barrier breaker. It is also used to attract love, favor, and blessing. Rainwater can be used to do a lot of spiritual works, positive ones. If you need blessings, beautiful, positive energy, then you have to be friends with rain. Milozo. While it is raining, you have to open your mouth and swallow some. When, it's, uh, when rain is falling down on you, falling directly on you, yes, open your mouth and swallow some direct from the sky. Not the one that is falling on top of the roof before it touches your body, oh. So you don't misunderstand me. Dibian Wang Wuchendu says that rainwater is used also for separation or restoration spiritual works. So it depends on the kind of spiritual work you want to use it for. But mostly what I enumerated here is the spiritual uses of rainwater. I hope I have made impact in your life today. And I hope you receive this message with an open heart. Ordinary spirituality is very simple. It is not complicated. Ordinary buzondo. It has its do's and don'ts. That is why most people run away from it. Because they are so comfortable uh, committing all sorts, of uh, all sorts of sins and atrocities in uh, uh, hiding under the disguise of uh, imported religion. But in ordinary spirituality, it is not so. Any good ordinary adherent knows about unso. Maka ometaraburu. Hmm? So, if you want to learn more about spirituality, ordinary Igbo spirituality, please feel free to like my page, Dibianwan Wuchendo, on Facebook. And also Dibianwan Wuchendo on YouTube. So you can also listen to me uh, teach. Well, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me with my number or my email or through ADN Radio New York. 
Thank you for listening. See you same time, same station, same day. It's bye from me, Dibia Wangu Chen. I'm signing off. Bye.